the sun, our ultimate power source, our cosmic lifeline. What if we could tap into its raw, infinite energy, not with clunky solar panels, but by connecting directly to a star? Sounds like the key to our survival, right? But what if that bold ambition paves the way to our downfall? Welcome to Curious. And here's what happens if we could harvest energy directly from stars and why it might be the best or worst idea humanity ever had. Right now, our energy system feels stuck in the Stone Age, burning fossil fuels like dinosaur juice and relying on solar panels that barely catch enough sunlight. It's like using dial-up internet in a world that's already streaming on fiber optic speeds. Here's the challenge. The solar constant, the peak energy hitting the top of our atmosphere, is about 1,361 watts per square meter. Yet, our panels capture only a tiny fraction, as if we're trying to drain an ocean with a sippy cup. Imagine if we could break that limit, plug directly into a star, and tap into virtually limitless power. This isn't just science fiction. It's a call to rewrite the rules of physics, economics, and even intergalactic diplomacy. Let's get to the heart of the idea. Freeman Dyson. No, not the vacuum guy, but the visionary who, in 1960, proposed a radical idea. The Dyson Sphere. A colossal megastructure, a giant shell, or a network of satellites built to surround a star and capture nearly all of its energy. It's like upgrading from a flashlight to a nuclear reactor, a blueprint that transforms sci-fi dreams into a tangible future. Now, imagine a Dyson Swarm, a vast, cosmic beehive of trillions of solar satellites orbiting a star. The sun pumps out an astounding 384.6 yottawatts of power, a number so huge, it's a one with 24 zeros. To put it simply, that's roughly 20 trillion times the average power consumption of humanity. This swarm could beam endless power back to Earth, fueling everything from our homes to interstellar adventures. But as thrilling as that sounds, with great power comes well, a lot of challenges. Consider the trials we'd face. First, the heat. The sun's surface blazes at nearly 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to turn our toughest materials to liquid in seconds. And its core, an almost unimaginable 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. Then, the distance. The sun is 93 million miles away. That's far, but manageable. Now, think about Proxima Centauri, a star 4.24 light-years away. Imagine trying to build a solar fuel station when your delivery takes four years. And the nearest hardware store? 4.24 light-years away. Good luck with returns. Finally, the material and construction challenges. Building a Dyson Sphere isn't just about capturing energy. It's about constructing something on an unimaginable scale we'd need to harvest materials from entire planets and build satellites tough enough to survive the brutal conditions of space. These components must withstand extreme temperature swings, intense radiation, collisions with space debris. Even with advanced materials like graphene, assembling trillions of parts in orbit is like tackling the world's largest jigsaw puzzle, where every piece is enormous and weighs millions of tons. And these challenges? They're just the tip of the cosmic iceberg. Mastering this demands innovative thinking and engineering that pushes the boundaries of our current technology. But here's the burning question. Can we harness this immense power without provoking the cosmos? What if the star itself fights back with ferocious solar flares or violent radiation storms? Suddenly, our Dyson Swarm isn't a power plant. It's a precarious cosmic cage. And if we lose control, we might not just fail, we could become the galaxy's biggest cautionary tale. Humanity is all in. Trillions of satellites swarm the sky. AI systems scramble to maintain order. And then, disaster strikes. A massive solar flare fries half the swarm. A rogue asteroid demolishes the rest. Our dream of unlimited energy spirals into catastrophic chaos. But imagine if we pull it off. If we tame the star's power, 
we'd evolve into a Type II civilization, unlocking unlimited energy that could cure diseases, end poverty, and spark a new era of exploration, and answering the big questions, like, what if toasters worked forever? Unlimited energy seems like paradise. No more oil wars, no more smog, just unbridled progress. Yet, as we capture the heart of a star, we must ask, could this power cause unexpected chaos in space? Or could it open up endless possibilities? What do you think the future holds? The stars are more than mere energy. They're a mirror reflecting our deepest ambitions and fears. Are we brave enough to reach out? Drop your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this cosmic journey, hit that like button, subscribe, and join the discussion. And remember, the next time your Wi-Fi is slow, you can always blame the sun.